y'all welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a tutorial on this beautiful grecian goddess updo so if you guys want to see how i got this look go ahead and stay tuned to begin this style i wash and conditioned with the curl nourish shampoo and conditioner i love these because they smell so good on top of leaving my curls super moisturized and ready to be styled then I'll go ahead and add the Curl Stretch Loosening Pudding to actually style my hair and let it air dry. I love this stuff because it has a slight hold to where it's a nice consistency and moisturizing, but still allows my hair to really expand and get super big. So now we're ready to create our look. So I'm gonna first start out by pulling all of my hair up into a very, very loose ponytail. I'm gonna start pulling different pieces of my hair out, just really searching for curls that I can manipulate and kind of frame my face with. You can do this style with or without this part, but I think it's really cute when you have kind of loose flowing curls to create that Grecian goddess look. Now, if you're pulling pieces and you're finding that those pieces aren't really curling up, don't worry about it. We're gonna take care of that in the next step. Now that we've pulled all the pieces that we wanna have out, I'm gonna go ahead and secure the ponytail on top of my head, making sure again that it's really loose. I'm not even gonna wrap the ponytail holder around multiple times. I'm just gonna use one loop and that's it. A super cute addition you can make to this look is definitely adding a headband. I love this leafy golden headband. It just really makes the look even more elegant. So now we're gonna take care of that first. We're gonna go back into the different sections that we've pulled around our face and redefine those curls that have kind of come undone through the styling process. All I'm doing here is simply applying a tiny bit of the pudding and retwirling those curls that got a little bit frizzy. And you'll just continue doing this in all the areas that you feel like need to be redefined before we start pinning up our curls. And this part is really simple. It's all up to you where you want your curls to be cascading from. If you wanna have more curls in the back kind of flowing down or if you want more of them pinned up in the front, it's really up to you. I just really loosely and informally pinned up curls here and there to create this look. As I'm finishing up this look, I'm just playing with my ponytail a little bit more. And if your hair is a bit longer than mine, you can definitely pin curls again, higher or lower to create that cascading look with your ponytail as well. But yeah, this is basically the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you guys so much for watching.